preventing more tragedies. A paddleboarder recently drowned in Lake Michigan. Her body was recovered yesterday. Christina Van Zels is live with exactly why Lake Michigan experts say drownings are a public health issue. Christina? Mary, some people familiar with Lake Michigan say certain items like paddle boards and kayaks are too easy to access and they don't come with a safety course. We did talk with a local surf shop who actually stopped selling certain items and this is why. At Lake Effect Surf Shop in Shorewood. Lake Effect Surf Shop, this is Jake. You'll find wetsuits, surfboards, and all things to get you ready to hit the waves. But what you won't find on the shelves is a paddleboard. Just that little bit of wind out there, and it can really get your board moving around. Shop owner Jacob Brissett says he stopped renting paddleboards. He felt they could be unsafe, calling Lake Michigan unpredictable. What's nice about renting surfboards is knowing that people are going to be and remain close to the beach, whereas paddleboards, you can really start to venture uh, avenues that um, are uncharted. Instead, he sells things like tethers to keep you attached to whatever you're floating on. He says to also be wearing your life jacket. I always say, you know, if, if you're able to get back on your flotation device, you have hours or even days to, you know, try to signal for help. The safety tips come after a missing paddle boarder was found Tuesday. 49-year-old Teresa Stiff was missing for nearly a week after paddle boarding at Harrington Beach. The Ozaki County Sheriff's Office believes she drowned. With the stigma of drowning, it actually gets in the way of water safety education and outreach. Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project Executive Director Dave Benjamin says if you're heading to Lake Michigan, most importantly, check the wind forecast and leave the inflatables at home. The most rescues that I have actually participated in were people on inner tubes or rafts or other types of inflatable toys that they're away from shore and they have no way to paddle back. The Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project says so far this year there's been 20 drownings in Lake Michigan. Four of those have been here in southeastern Wisconsin. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Christina Van Zelst, Fox 6 News.